We go live to St. Vincent and the Grenadines for the closing press conference of the 8th Select Summit. In that. Yes, in that particular era. Then we have a comprehensive disaster mitigation plan. Now, when we have disasters, we normally will go and, and we'll continue to go to the United States, to Britain. They have assets in the region to help us. But Mexico has assets. Mexico is just on the road from us. Military helicopters. Well, we did some with Venezuela bilaterally, and Antigua did that when the hurricane hit Antigua and Barbuda. And then there is Brazil. So there are practical linkages. These, this, this is how these things connect with us. When people ask what, where it is, so, yeah. people aren't listening when you talk, not reading, because these things, they are not quote-unquote sexy subjects, but you will see the relevance of them as, as you go forward with all the good governance, arrange, good governance arrangements the touching and concerning those matters. Then there's a health self-sufficiency plan which includes matters concerning pharmaceuticals you would recall that when covid and there are going to be more types of of um, public health uh, emergencies climate change would connect with 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 with, with, with those things mexico and, and brazil have um, developed a lot of pharmaceutical products cuba too and, you know, Cuba de developed the, the vaccines, the Abdala, among others. But Cuba couldn't get its vaccine um, approved by any agency outside of Cuba. The Americans aren't approving it. The Europeans aren't approving it. The British aren't approving it. You have to wait on the World Health Organization. It's a long process. And if you're not with the European um, agency, or the British, or the American, the CDC, Food and Drug Administration, and so on. You have a problem. Well, we have to do our own. Then we have to do cooperation and exploration. And, and, I, and an item which we have put down, I'm talking about coordination and science and technology in relation to that. But something I put down in CARICOM, and we have a paper on it, and also we raise it in in um, CELAC and there's a special resolution from um, a special declaration from Chile which deals with the oceans and its resources including what's under the, 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 the ocean floor the seabed the new frontier is not so much space you know but what's under the, sea, under the seabed immense resources a lot of people don't know the International Seabed Authority is located in Jamaica and we have been allowing other people to control that rather than we exercising the degree of influence we should do in relation to that. These are, these are things which is, it's, it's beyond some mere village issues. These are la large strategic things at hand. So in respect of the seabed, how are we planning to go forward? Well, well first of all, we are there. There is an international seabed authority, and we have to work in a coordinated manner to exercise our influence. Look, the main regulation as to who is going to control it, the resources there, how we are going to get the technology to explore that. We have to work with other countries, but we have to be there in the game very early. And we have to act very quickly. So there are many others, but I have given you a round off several and and uh, of course we have reactivated the the technical committee in CELAC St. Vincent and Grenadines dealing with Afro descendants in Latin America and the Caribbean which is to the issue of reparatory justice I mentioned those in my speech this morning and then, and then of course the big issue of the Caribbean as a zone of peace and you would have seen a further consolidation of what we are doing here between Venezuela and Guyana. And that Argyle is central in that journey. Um, so when I, when I 
when I hear people talk foolishly, ignorantly, and dismissively about this kind kind of an exercise, you know, I'm just I just I pity them. You 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 heard repeatedly. I mean, listen to the speeches. You heard repeatedly the kudos given to Saint Vincent and the Grenadines and the leadership in the government and for the work we have done over the past year, the 30 months particular. What is what is happening? It just blow their mind away. The airport, the, the, how the place looks, the the the, the green. The cleanliness of the place, the way here down at Sandals and other hotels too, not only here because people stayed at, um, at, 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 at Young Island, they stayed at Alexandrina, they stayed at, at uh, Beach Gomas and lots of other places. I'm just naming a few. You they spoke, love you. So you spoke today of the need to establish a permanent secretariat for Silla. Why is this important? You see, to have continuity. CARICOM has a permanent secretariat. The European Union has a permanent secretariat. The OECS has a permanent secretariat. The Association of Caribbean States has a permanent secretariat. The Association of Caribbean States is not as powerful a body as CELAC, though it deals with five important subjects, the, the ACS that is, tourism, trade, transportation and uh, technology plus disaster preparedness. Um, CELAC has been addressing the, the issue of marine and, and air transportation. That is an ongoing problem and we have to keep it on the agenda and working with it. We do the same thing in CARICOM. Um, but Teresa, my brother, if you were to write a novel, a work of the creative imagination, and you had said that St. Vincent and the Grenadines will have hundreds of distinguished visitors, CELAC, for a conference of this, represents 650 million people on a track. Other um, representatives from countries. The representatives today from India, that's 1.4 billion people. From China, 1.4 billion people. From the European Union, over 600,000 people. So you're talking there, 2.8 and 6, that's 3.4 billion. Plus our 650 million. So you're talking today, here, they were representatives, 1.3 billion between CELAC and the European Union, 2.8 between India and China. That's over 4 billion. The world has 8 billion people. We gathered representatives here today of over 4 billion people. Half the world's population. Huh? Half the world's population. In St. Vincent, in St. Vincent, the Grenadines have 110,000 people. And, and a resort of this kind. But for Nali, um, said, you know, you say, remember about nine years ago, Ralph, I came by here with you, with some big investors from the US, and you tell them that you're prepared to talk about um, the Bokama Resort and see how they can help the resort thing. And they were to get back, and they didn't. Buffon told me last night, he sent photographs. He sent pictures of this thing. And the fellow said, what have we missed? <laughs> if you were, as a writer of the creative imagination, to write on all what I'm telling you, what people would have seen and what take place, your readers would have said, Teresa, my brother Harry, they would have said to you, Calville, what kind of story you're making up? It's unbelievable, but it has happened right before our very eyes. Magical, huh? Yes, it's I like that word, magical. It's magical. It is magical. Yes. And, and um, I want to thank again the, the Sanders group for pushing, because, you know, 
the, the, oh, we have some people in our country who are just um, purely negative, nabobs of negativism. That's, that's a word which was used by an American politician I adopted, nabob. You know, the, 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 the persons of a... Uh, I, I think the, 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 cons the idea originated out of India too, we got from you, you know. <laughs> anyway, wherever it originated, the people were just negative. They don't know what was happening here. They see, um, they don't know the work plan. Of, of Terence Devine, who is the, the project manager. They don't know what Codelpa is doing. They, 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 they don't know. They don't know how many people are working here, what is the work plan, and so on and so forth. This is impossible. That the, the Sandals are going to be embarrassed. The government is going to be embarrassed. Ralph is driving these people, and they, they can't do it. You, how, how many times you heard, you heard that? And now that when it happened, what are they saying? Boy, you have to hand it to the first long day and you had to hand it to Ralph. You, you know, the man didn't know what they were talking about. And when they were saying, oh, you oh, can come here. They said, well, you bring all the leaders here. You have to, I mean, can they just have a sense that we are in quest of a self-mastery in solidarity with other people? Self-mastery. In like solidarity that. with other yeah. people? Can't they get it in their heads? What is so difficult about this? Nobody is better than us. We're not better than anybody, but nobody is better than us. We are possessed of a certain nobility. We have a certain history of struggle, of achievement, of pain and joys and triumphs and advances and defeats and setbacks. But we have built thriving civilizations. Look at what we have, and people take this for granted. Let's talk about what you consider to be your highlight in respect of your presidency of SILAC over the last 13 months. Well, the most dramatic one is the Argyle Declaration. That was the most dramatic because Guyana and Venezuela were just a step or two away from actual open conflict, which was going to involve other powers in the hemisphere, the United States and France, and even outside the hemisphere, Britain. But we were able, without any involvement from anybody outside, we in CELAC and we in CARICOM, which is a CELAC took the lead, CARICOM was also there. And we dealt, we, we worked with individual leaders in Caribbean and Latin America. And peace, the peace has held. Prevent. Oh, yeah. I could tell you, I get lots of letters from Nicholas and lots of letters also from um, Orphan. If, if, if Orphan feels that Nicholas or somebody in Venezuela said or does something, he writes me, he says, look, look, this is and so on, and he sends a copy also to our Secretary General of the United Nations. If Orphan or somebody in Guyana says something, Nicholas writes me, and so on. So I'm, 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 kind of, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the pen pal the in the interview. In the, so I, I'll, I'll send the letter and say, well, you know, Nicholas sent me this. You're the interlocutor. I'm the interlocutor, you know? I mean, the, 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 and, and uh, we we'll talk and so on. The exchange gifts today. Yes, yes. And they're oh, very warm. That. With, it, with, it, with, it, with each other. I, I call them in my speech my dear friends, personal friends, and combatants for peace. They're fighters for peace. And the Cuban, for the, to, to have the commemoration for the 10th anniversary, of course, some people, ah, they make the program long. You know, the, 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 the usual bureaucratic mindset. I saw immediately the strategic importance of it. I said, this is an excellent idea. Let's proceed with it. So what is if it takes you 
it, because of it, it takes you a little bit longer and we finish a little later than we should have finished. It's still not bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk a little bit about the Kingstown declarations? Well, it's nearly 100 paragraphs covering a wide range of things. <clears throat> Economics, climate change, financing for development, um, issues of peace, um, it covered a number of um, topical issues, Ukraine, it covered um, linkage with Africa, South-South cooperation, it, it covered reparations, it, it covered the indigenous peoples and persons of African descent in, 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 in our America, as Jose Mati calls it, because people think when there's the United States of America. And that's a country, and a great country, with great people. But they're not only America. Jose Mati, the Cuban patriot, said the Caribbean and Latin America. That's our America. <laughs> um, the, so climate change, all, a wide range of, of um, uh, topical questions and, and crime and, and security drugs, you know, women, young people, persons with disabilities, you know, poverty, um, uh, food security. It covers the declaration, covers all of those things and more. Um, and each of those, I would tell you, the number of versions of that declaration I've seen, probably fill the room this past packet going up there, I mean, because the, the negotiations, and I mean... if you were to choose one or two declarations, which would you, you say? Mean the, the, well, in addition to those, there were some special declarations, um, nine of them covering migration, um, covering the, the question of the war on, on Cuba, you know, the blockade and all the rest of it. Um, the, the, the one that I will, I, I would choose has been, well, difficult to pick, pick one, but one which I am excited about is the question of food security. Um, we didn't get unanimity on the matter of Gaza. Um, and I said that, look, I'd use the, when I, when I realized we couldn't get it, I said that I, I would use the traditional chairman's prerogative to make a chairman's statement, chairman of the summit. And I had a, Camilo and Elzo John, and I was working with others, drafting something. So we have 25, 26 countries who agreed with the statement. And so we had it, I said, this is what I'm gonna read as a, as, a, as, a, as a chairman's statement. But if everybody agree here, whose names are here, whose countries are here, anybody want to take out the name, anybody want to add their name, um, you know, I'll be, I'll be happy to do so. I'll have a product at the end of it. But when we had, 25, 26 out of the 33 countries, 20, 20, 26, I think it's 26. I say, well, we will just issue this as a statement from these 26 countries, you know, and, and bang the gavel on that rather than exercising the prerogative of the, the chairman to issue a chairman statement. You but I was determined. I told them we can't leave without something on Gaza. We had to. Okay. Um, and Haiti. Haiti is also there in, in the statement, in the, um, in, the, in the declaration. And you heard me today when I spoke about Haiti. Yes. The, the, you heard me, I was very emphatic that the, the, the government doesn't have popular legitimacy. Um, and it is ineffective. And there was an intransigence by the government and, and, and my brother, the prime minister. I know a lot of actors in the Haitian um, 
this conflict situation, political personalities. And in CARICOM, we moved. We had them, the, 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 the Prime Minister genuinely moved, compromised. Um, and that's why I ask for the other stakeholders, let's have some compromise too. Let us, nobody's going to have it perfect. And um, you, you, we probably will end up with what, 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 I, what I call a, 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 it's a mutual, a condition of mutual dissatisfaction. But it's an agreement nevertheless as a stage in post. Why isn't mature people in difficult situations? Um, do this. I, I tell people the same thing I talk about Ukraine. The, 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 and the analogy when people say, what kind of concept is that? I say, but there are, lot of, there are lots of marriages across the world where people are in a condition of agreed dissatisfaction, mutual dissatisfaction. They're either too long in the game, they have grown children, they may too many young children, they think, what while they're doing the, going asunder. We know how wise and mature people are. So, but why do we don't use our brains? Have an understanding, Theresa. And having had an understanding, not just information, a genuine understanding. And then apply your heart to wisdom. The Hebrew, the Hebrew Bible teaches us uh, those propositions, you know, and those are not quote unquote religious propositions. They're propositions which come from lived experiences over centuries from which ideas are distilled and they're recorded by men and women, largely men, in that period. But we, we have a way now. Something comes up, you start to type without thinking. You know, that, that is it. Before that, you don't want to spend the time to marinate the food, the meat or anything like that. You just want fast food. You know, when we used to make chocolate, you know, you got instant cocoa and Milo. Uh, uh, it, you know, there's some things you, you have to just take your time and understand it, get all the information, study it inside out, you know, investigate, seek the truth from facts. Like down here in, in Sandals, the number of falsehoods which are spoken. Could you imagine Sandals built this and you have people opposed to it? You're opposing 575 people who start out here working. Uh, let's forget the, the, the hundreds of incentions on the construction and those who work in trucks and buses and all the rest of it doing all sorts of things. But those are going to be permanent here. here. Plus, the few hundred who are already taken and sent all about the training. They may bring back some. Um, those people getting salaries, you know. Those people getting wages, you know. I know a school teacher who has her, 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 her keep subjects. She's, she's enrolled at UWI on the global campus, the open campus. She's a teacher one or teacher two, whatever grade. Last month, she came by me and she said she's, she had to tell me that she's going to resign because she's going, she, she's training in St. Lucia for two weeks. She's coming back here to work because they're paying she twice when she work here making another teacher. Okay. So I say, you know, I thought you wanted a teacher. She said, yes, but this is another option I'm seeing that I can go and deal with. No. So, let's talk about people see something that island tours, sandals with island tours started. Yes, that has been an issue. Yes. They think sandals going by buses. 
to take people about to do to us. On Wednesday in cabinet, there's a Vincentian company which applied for duty-free concessions. Six buses, 26, 29 seaters. Remember, we had announced the policy before. The duty-free. Well, yeah, the, the duty-free. Yeah. Tour buses, taxis, other things. They get their 75% duty. They have won the contract. I've been told. To provide those to, 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 services? No. To transport their workers. Sandals workers. Three shifts of workers. Wow. Okay. So if you got six buses and you're transporting three shifts, you need certainly at least three drivers to each bus. Yes. And six buses, that's 18 people getting work there. You see, while okay. fellas, while fellas talking, other people listening. Yeah. I asked so Camilo many dimensions. To, yeah. I asked Camilo to tell me how many entities and individuals we have given concessions under this thing. He tell me as of Wednesday. Uh, he told me that there were 12. Okay. Those people must talk about the concessions. And there may well be more. That's, that's. So he told me, I don't know if that 12 includes the 6. So, yeah, but then the noise about Reno um, from St. Lucia going by people's farms and buying produce. I thought if somebody gone buy the produce, buy your produce in, 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 in Park Hill, Byra, Lowman's, or Greg's, you can who come buy your produce? No. So long as you get a good price? In fact, the man, the man said publicly that he, he doesn't even know, he doesn't, uh, he, he, he's not getting enough. All he, want, he says, don't, don't, just, so long as you don't give me anything which is rotten, I'm buying it. People who talking, why didn't they go and take the risk like him to set up the infrastructure to do that? And he's exporting, and I believe he's um, dealing with hotels not only here. Yeah, he saw an opportunity. He saw an opportunity. Yeah. You know, in fact, the, the, the farmers in St. Lucia say they like somebody like Renault to, to deal with that because they say they mark, the marketing board over there, when they take their commodities, don't pay them on time. You remember, you remember the big noise they had about the Grenada who come to come, come, who would come on people's farms and, uh, and buy uh, cattle? Buy the uh -huh. yeah? Yeah. You, 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 you remember that? No, I said to the fishermen, if five, six of you, whatever the number, form a co-op, a serious co-op, and you, you'd have the investment, and you, you prepare the fish the same way to sell them to the standards that they want. It's a five-star hotel, you know. But the people who are selling the rainforest seafoods, rainforest get the fish from Mars, from Timbuktu, from the mouth of the Amu River, or near to Vladivostok. The gate, the gate is in Vincent Grandis, you know. UK who, mm -hmm. who buy a fish, so long as you get it sell. But they would not want to have to deal with a multiplicity of small people, just like no normal hotel. You, you could take ten, you could you could take ten pound, up, ten, ten pound of tomato, and and to cabbage or put um, Alexandrina, telling them you're selling them. I mean, you have to. I, I mean, people have to understand you have to lift the game when i when we outline the vision that we must build a modern competitive many-sided post-colonial economy which is at once local national regional and global i said every word in that formulation in that quest is pregnant with meaning Modern means you have to use modern science and technology and you lift your game, you gotta do things properly. You could bring the fish by the beach and clean it and show the gut in the water. No. I mean, listen. Definitely not. I, I, I don't know. Well, 
politics. Cause people to talk some stupidness here. What I do know, though, is that what happened here over the last couple of days, Sanders met with farmers, you know. Sanders met with fisher folk, you know. They met with taxi men and women, you know, and minibus operators. They did that, you know. They have a business to run, you know. By all means, criticize standards. If you have a factual basis and wish to criticize them, don't criticize them on the basis of falsehoods or spurious politics. Don't do that. They had a, they had open, they had open um, audition for cultural artists. I, I attended a couple of those. You attended? Yes. The dancers they brought there. You think they ain't telling their friends? You think they're performing for nothing? The people from Rose Hall and Rose Bank who came, and the fellas who beat in their drums. I mean, they, 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 they think, they, they think, they think Darren Andrews came down here to play the piano because he like how they look. The man is a professional. The violin, he played the piano, and he also played the violin. Yeah, I mean, people have to seriously um, stop trying to pull down things. It's the same thing they did with the airport, same thing they did with the education revolution, same thing they did with the modern medical complex, same thing that they did with the Rabaka Bridge. Everything, everything. What, what? Maybe, maybe we need to do some form of public education where that is concerned. No, well, you see, what, you, what is happening is this. If that is their mindset, they will sing to a diminishing choir. They're in a bubble. They think they, they're in their own echo chamber. And, and you know, somebody get up in the morning somewhere, they see something written. They go along with that echo chamber because they're predisposed to doing so. But it, it, it ain't going beyond the echo chamber because ordinary people are sensible. That's, that's, why, we, that's why we have made progress, you know. And I have confidence in people. And the same thing about the, 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 the ill-informed comments about CELAC. They think a man like Lula, who is very busy. Lula is now the chairman of the G20, you know. Okay. The 20 wealthiest countries in the, in the world. world. He's now the chair of the G20. Brazil is the 10th largest economy in the world. 220 million people half of whom are of African descent. The largest population of African people or the African descendants in any state in the world outside of Nigeria. Well, Egypt and um, Ethiopia are knocking their heads close to them. You, if you study the demography in Africa. So, you think, you think he and his, and his foreign minister and 60 something Delegates. Delegates. They have time to waste? Eh? You think the Cuban president got time to waste? Eh? You think the, the, the other heads of government who have come here and heads of, the, and heads of state, you think they have time to waste? You think President Petro from Colombia has time to waste? Colombia is a country of 40 something million people. You know, I, I, I just don't. They think this thing is a talk shop. This has been, CELAC was founded 11 years, sorry, 13 years ago, in 2011. But it has a genesis before that. Since before 2010, I can't remember what year it was, it might have been 2007, 2008, in Bahia, in northeastern Brazil, I was there. The only two survivors from that meeting is Lula and myself. But he took, as I said, a sabbatical. 
I took a rest. Uh, but I've been in the I've been in the in the jungle continuously. No. The kinds of subjects we're talking about. Peace. Being able to help with peace between Guyana and Venezuela is not important to people in the Caribbean, in St. Vincent and the Well, if they say no, they're completely mad. No, you can always find things with which you are dissatisfied. Because human beings, as I analyzed on the radio program, satisfaction and dissatisfaction are different sides of the same coin. You're brought from a particular level, Teresa. You're coming here, you're satisfied. But you're also dissatisfied. You get your motor car, you didn't have one before. And you never saw potholes, but now you're driving, you're seeing potholes, so you're dissatisfied about that. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you get up on mornings, there's always something which you may be dissatisfied about, but sensible, mature people put these things in a context, and you have to ask yourself the question, those who have consistently brought you, helped in solidarity to bring you up, and you reach this level of satisfaction, and those who help to bring you here got a vision to take you even higher. Who are you likely to trust to, to help you in that exercise? Somebody who's just always negative and vexed and angry. Or people who are of good cheer and optimistic and very positive. You know, the, the, the story is very straightforward. Yes, we, we have now... Um Given up the presidency, what, what is our role going forward? We are a member of the Troika. As the former, there are three, three countries uh, are in the Troika, and it's the Troika plus one. The chair of the Troika, the presidency of the Troika, would be Honduras. The incoming would be Colombia. And the one which has gone out is St. Vincent and the Grenadines, okay. and then the, ch the chair of CARICOM. Incidentally, when I became the pro tempore president of CELAC, we didn't really have a trika, it was just ourselves in Argentina. And then, of course, the Argentinian election, things, there are a lot of stuff happened down there, so it was basically us. But what I, what I did, I wrote all the governments, and I suggested a way how we can deal with this thing. What are the regions we have? We have CARICOM, we have Central America. Central America would include um, the, the Central American countries, Mexico, um, the, the, the well, even Mexico could be used as a special case because where it straddles, we have Belize, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, um, Guatemala, Panama, Costa Rica. Those countries in Central America, plus Cuba and the Dominican Republic will constitute one group. And you have South America. And then you have the CARICOM. I say, well, all we do, we try to do things in rotation. There was Argentina, which is in South America. Before Argentina was Mexico. You can put in Central America too, but if you want to put Mexico especially. Yes, St. Vincent and Grenadines, from first country from CARICOM, has become pro tempore president. I said, well, why don't we now go back to Central America, which is Honduras, and the, the country after Honduras is another South American country, Colombia. So I persuade my colleagues. Okay. So what is adopted here is you have Honduras, then it's going to be Central America. then. CARICOM will come into play again, some other country, unless they decide not to do it. Uh, to, to, 
after Columbia I'm talking about now. Mm -hmm. not. So you have a regular, in the, re in the various regions, yeah. you then decide among yourselves who next, who next yeah. and get everybody to agree with it. Yes. No eh? That is the system. It's a simple system put in place in a brethren. <laughs> but it gives you that institutional arrangement. Producer, yes. But I should, I should leave you. No. You don't want me to leave you yet. No. <laughs> you know <laughs> that. <laughs> The producer is on my right, you yes. know so. <laughs> well, just, just tell me what else you want to ask me anything. Okay, and what would be your final thoughts on this entire um, event today? Um, also, the fact that um, sandals do not formally officially opened You're opening on the 27th of on the March. 27th but but this event has been like a real baptism of fire for um, those employees because I mean they've done very to, well to, eh? to start with an international event of this nature but they, but they couldn't resist it you see they couldn't resist it they couldn't resist it when and here is where here it several months ago Sandals, the top brass came to see me, and Camilo and a couple other ministers were there. And they gave a report as to what they're doing. So I listened to them, and they said, When they will, I said, I have a proposition. See if you all could advance this thing, give me now. I said, I have the pro tempore presidency of SILAC. I want to hold the summit here at Sandals. I said, my presidency comes to an end at the end of January. They said, no, 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 they can't make it. I said, well, hold on. The thing is on. I said, they think about it. They came back and said, well, give them till the end of February. Well, we walked out. Well, guy and I was supposed to hold Caricom. I said, well, all right, first of March. So I had to tell my colleagues, I need another month as the PTP. Fellas, they disagree. You know, you, you know what I mean? Say, because I tell them what's happening. But 650 million people, there's Brazil, big middle class, there's Colombia, there's Mexico. Venezuela itself has a big middle class with, 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 with money all the way down to Argentina, and everywhere in between, they have that additional market for them. The Sandals fellas, I believe, have the, they, they have their people on the ground doing things, taking, and this would be part of their promotion, too, you know. And this is beamed all over the world, you know. These are millions, sorry. Billions of people have seen this thing, you know, not hundreds of millions, billions of people seen what happened here, you know. And in the process, St. Vincent and Grenadines is advertised. And all of this helped the boats to rise, all the boats to rise. <laughs> in all kind of things that you do. You apply for a job somewhere in Latin America. She yes, asked him, I was there, I was there, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. You, 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 you know what I mean? I saw I was there. Yes. We are 110,000 people. Well, the daring is that we could represent 650 million. And then you tell the fellas, they said, they came back to me, they said, well, you know, we have a problem. We didn't have a plan to build this. I said, well, I can do some makeshift, makeshift things, but would you want them to come and stay with you and the operation, you have to move people and uh, some big setup? 
you know, those kind of tents, you know, those large, the tough tents now, you know, come on, you know, the fellas build this in just over four months, you know, working day and night, you know, that's why it's, you think I mentioned Terence's name, who I call a master, master engineer, the Trinidad Empire, I think I mentioned his name last night. By accident, no. I'm telling him thank you. You gotta remember things, you know. Eh? No, the Secretary General has come from the UN. You asked me what's happening. Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, my brother Antonio Gutierrez is coming at Goss. He's having breakfast with me up there. Okay. This thing. And then from there, we go in to see some houses she built. We're going to see some climate resilient things like the the the, the sea defences defense. and river defences yes. and so on. We want to see the whole so protect because this, this brethren within 24 hours, as I said, that called me. How did he and I get close? When we were on the security council and run the king's work. Yes. You. My classmate. Yes. And you leverage things. Look. I'll tell you this. We leverage things, for instance, at the... In, in various places. Using friendships. Using all kind of different things. Because you're a small country. You have to know where to tap in. You watch the parliament, you watch the other side, you watch them jokers. They could network and, 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 and get these things done for, for, for the people of St. Vincent and Grandi. No, I ask you the question. You, you, oh, that, Lord. That, 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 I mean, that's another, that's a whole program. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the point is this. I mean, you give me the opportunity to talk it and I have to talk it because I, I, I don't have water in my mouth. The reality. And everybody knows that. No, I, I, somebody told me that a, 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 a fellow who doesn't see anything these days good in Ralph. Though he wants, was so supportive, but whatever personal thing. Somebody tell me that he, he, he wrote, say that I'm, despite his criticism about this, that, and so on, say Ralph is a master of statecraft and stagecraft. That's what he said. But you want, but you want damn with fin, with praise, no? You know, sometimes a fellow might want damn here with praise. But people know, through the networking that I have done and the foreign policy of St. Vincent Grandians, as Prime Minister, I have ensured that we have brought to this country since 2001 several billions of dollars. You, you want to? You want to ask about um, them? Well, let me just name a couple. Give you. Argyle International Airport is built with 750 million. It's worth more than that. The port is $650 million. Huh? We think help to bring sandals, which is over $600 million, this thing where we have here. Huh? That's just try name, you know. The acute referral is $270 million. The, the, all the money um, for sea defenses and river defenses and for the education revolution and modern medical and the, the, and the, the recent money with, with Saudi Arabia and stuff which we did with the UAE and also the money through Taiwan otherwise. And, No. When, when I did and gone, they go right about it, you know. When I ain't there about anymore, for, so that, it's like I can't back on, you, when I wouldn't be able to back answer them, for her back answer them now upon your program. It's always when I'm on dead and gone. All right, man, he's a okay fella, you know, he's the, 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 the good, you know, I mean, but 
you know, the thing go when he was around and, and we competing against him and so on and so forth. Ask to bring the news to me. Prime <laughs> Minister, thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you very much. And thank you for everything. All right. Have a great God evening bless and thank bless you. you too. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Have a great evening thank you. Thank you. So, as we welcome back our general manager and executive yeah. producer this evening. Yeah. As we get ready to, yeah? That was definitely cool. We were listening to the statements of the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Ralph Gonzalez, at the closing press briefing of the 8th Select Summit. Prime Minister went over the important elements addressed during the talks, like the strengthening of cooperation mechanisms, different sectors, the importance of preserving the area as a zone of peace, and the relevance that the integration bloc can and should have in the international arena, among others. Gonzalez reported that the final declaration covers a wide range of issues, from climate change to food security and social equality. However, he said that unanimity on Gaza was not reached but over 26 nations agreed to a chairman the declaration on the matter. Stay tuned with Tresor English for more updates in upcoming news briefs.